Our next game of the week takes us up north to Madison, Wisconsin, where the number four Alabama Crimson Tide come into town to take on the unranked Wisconsin Badgers. This is a 12 o'clock kickoff on Fox Saturday early. Big noon kickoff. Alabama favored by a whopping 16 points in this one, heading into Camp Randall Stadium. Again, just like every other matchup and every week, these two teams have a lot to prove. Luke Fickle entering year two as the head coach for the Wisconsin Badgers. Can he take that next step forward or, in Wisconsin terms, take that leap or that jump, no pun intended, and on the other side, Kalen DeBoer, first-year head coach, filling in the shoes of Nick Saban for the Crimson Tide. Everyone's skeptical of, is he the right hire? I don't know if anyone could be the right hire when it comes to, to matching up with a guy like Nick Saban. But nonetheless, he's ready. He played in the national championship last year. Now he gets his first road test in Madison, Wisconsin. Brad, I'll turn over to you. Thoughts on this game and uh, who comes out on top in Madison, Wisconsin? Nate, man, this is such a fun one. Alabama going up to, to Madison, and um, you know, I was reading on some of the Alabama boards to, today. You know, they're they're really excited to to get up north just to experience that environment. You mentioned the great tradition of jump around there to start the fourth quarter. Man, Camp Randall is a place that I hope to get to someday. Um, sticking, you know, along the lines of Wisconsin, I really really like Luke Fickle. I was a big fan of him at Cincinnati and what he did. And I think he's going to do good things there at Wisconsin, Nate. But I think you're seeing um, early so far this year, you know, it's year two for him. They're, they're still – he's still trying to build a culture there. He's still trying um, to really put his – excuse me, trying to put his fingerprint and his identity on that program. They're 2-0. Uh, well, they've got two wins, but, you know, they, they haven't been impressive or anything. And, I, Nate, I think a big storyline for Wisconsin is they're still trying to get used to this air raid offense under Phil Longo. Phil Longo is one of my favorite offensive coordinators in college football. I think you look at the stops where he's been at, he's been incredible. And he's going to get Wisconsin, you know, I think explosive on that side of the ball. Because, you know, for years and years we knew Wisconsin would come out and, you know, with a fullback or two tight end sets and just really, I mean, we talk about bully ball here on this channel on Break the Huddle. And that's what Wisconsin was known for. And so when Luke Fickle was hired here, he wanted to, you know, get a little bit more modern, you know, obviously uh, in college football. And I say all that to say is, uh, Wisconsin's still trying to gel and still trying to, to, to figure things out on offense. Tyler Van Dyke hasn't been bad. He hasn't set the world on fire. And, and you know, they're, they're running game. They're still trying to figure uh, still trying to figure things out. Look, I think just Wisconsin being very hyped for this game, The you know, even though it's going to be an 11 o'clock local, uh, local time kickoff, I think the crowd's going to be really, really into this one. And, and, and Wisconsin's going to come ready to play. We know they're going to be physical. We know they're going to play good defense. Um, but jumping over to Alabama, of course, you mentioned Kalen DeBoer. Alabama, Nate, to me, they were sleepwalking for 50 of the 60 minutes in that game last week. And look, South Florida, I will say, up until about, you know, 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter, South Florida had a chance to win that game. And, and um, you know, Alabama really, really showed, I thought, some weakness um, on the offensive line. They had some they had some issues on the offensive line. You know, they're hoping to get Caden Proctor back soon. Um you know, and, I, and I'm I'm going to say, Nate. You know, I'm I'm. You know, we're both here to own up. You know, when to eat a little crow when we're wrong. And I will say, I was a little bit of a doubter with how Jalen Milrow filled into this system. And look, season young, we're only two games in, but I've been impressed so far. They've done some things. Um, you know, getting him on the perimeter, get, giving him some quarterback design runs, but he's looked good. So far, I think you've seen a little bit development in him as a passer. They've got a really, really good one-two punch at running back with Jan Miller and and um, and and Haynes. Uh, but the guy I want to talk about is Phenom freshman uh, Ryan Williams. He's 17 years old. He's so electric. Six catches, 207 yards, three touchdowns. I think they're going to continue to to look for ways to get him the ball. They're going to continue to look for ways to get him touches. Nate, I. I I've said this a couple weeks now with these big matchups. I feel like just because Wisconsin is going to be so hyped and, and they're going to play with a lot of energy, I think this game is going to be close for about two and a half quarters. And then Alabama's depth, their athleticism, and just their overall team talent uh, pulls away in the fourth quarter. I'm going to take Alabama by, by 17 in this one. And I know I'm only one point over the spread there, but um, I, I think Alabama, especially defensively, their speed and their athleticism shows 
they get a couple of sacks on Tyler Van Dyke, the pocket starts to shrink and he starts to feel the pressure. So give me the Crimson Tide in a very, very tough environment in Camp Randall on Saturday. Yeah, Brad, I, w- I want to ask you real quick, who's the backup quarterback for Alabama? Uh, I believe it's uh believe it's Ty Simpson. Okay. Um, well you're gonna be you're gonna be seeing a lot of him on Saturday. This game's not oh. even gonna be close. Um, okay. Look, I'm, I'm just going to be straight up with you. We can say all we want about Wisconsin, Luke Fickle. He might be out the door next year. And I know that's a hot take, but, Brad, I'm telling you, you bring in a guy like Tyler Van Dyke has not played great. He's got one touchdown through two games, and they haven't even played him one tough. Then you look at their run game. Their lead running back, Malusi, is averaging 3.8 yards a carry. You can't do that at Wisconsin. I mean, that's that's terrible. And, again, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, I hope the fans are ready for jump around in the fourth quarter because that's about the only time they'll be standing up in this game. I'm just going to be straight up. I understand, look, Alabama's got their struggles, but when you look at their roster versus uh, Wisconsin's, they're far superior. Ty Simpson would make that Wisconsin team look like a top-10 team. And that's not to say that they would be a top-10 team, but that's how bad their quarterback play has been. Nothing against Wisconsin. Nothing against Luke Fickle, but I'm going to be honest with you, Brad. This one, in my eyes, is not going to be close. Give me Alabama by 30 points. Oh, man. (laughs) Let us know down in the comments if you think I'm wrong. I'm here for the hate. Bring it on.